We believe in bringing back childhood and helping children restore their mental health and having positive memories while they're going through healing. So one of the things that we've noticed is when children come here, they're looking for things that are playful. And that big green bear at the front door definitely serves that purpose. And that's what started this idea of creating the plush fruity bear and how we reached out to Budsies who helped us do this project. Hi, I'm Ann Thomas. I'm President and CEO of the Children's Place here in Kansas City, Missouri. Today I get to tell you the story of a rather remarkable bear named Mr. Rudy Bear. We recently moved into a new building, but our former building was an old, green, nondescript type of place. But in front of it, there was a big, four-foot bear. This four-foot bear was part of a program in Kansas City called March of the Teddy Bears, which was created in 2002 to honor the 100th birthday of that beloved childhood toy, the teddy bear. So companies sponsored and then the bears were auctioned off and they were placed at local nonprofits in Kansas City. So the Children's Place was fortunate enough over 20 years ago to have this bear put in front of the building. The interesting thing about that bear is it was right by our bus drop off and so every child when they came to the children's place would get off the bus and hug the bear or see the bear and know they were in the right place. When we were getting ready to move to the new building we examined that bear quite a bit and it was decided that for 20 years of love that was about as far as he was going to go with us. And so the decision was made to design a new bear uh, for the new place. At that very same time, we had an incredible teacher. His name was Mr. Rudy Liggins. Mr. Rudy was one of the original staff people when the Children's Place started back in 1978. And so Mr. Rudy was a preschool teacher, primarily of three and four year olds, for over 42 years. Now, Mr. Rudy was a pretty incredible person. First of all, he was a Division I basketball player. He had the opportunity to play basketball in lots of different places. But one summer, um, as he was trying to figure out the next step in his career, he came home to Kansas City and decided he better get a part-time job. Well, the Children's Place was opening at that point in time. And he thought, well, I'll go work here for a little while and save some money. Well, you know what? He never left and after 42 years, he retired from the Children's Place as a beloved educator. Mr. Rudy retired about the same time the agency was making the move into the new building with the new Rudy being started. And we couldn't think of a better way to honor all of his years of dedication, his ability to comfort children, his ability to greet kids, and everything he represented seemed to be embodied by this new bear. And so we dedicated the, the bear to him, to Mr. Rudy. So interesting enough, as we noticed how much children love to greet the bear and how many people talked about, I went to that place with the bear in front of it, we started thinking more and more about how this um, symbol had sort of become an icon of our agency. As we began to think about that a little more and lean into it, we got the idea that perhaps we should make a plush bear, not us. Perhaps we should find someone who can make a plush bear for us with the idea that every child that comes here would be greeted by Rudy Bear, but then when they completed their mental health treatment, they each would get their own Rudy Bear to take home with them. One of the things that we noticed is with the Rudy Bear is that many of our therapists have also decided to use it in the treatment process. So we often use stuffed animals in therapy to practice breathing and to tell them things and maybe to use as a way to have a practice having a conversation with someone. And so now in the therapy rooms, each of them have a Rudy Bear that they can use in the therapy process as well. So when a child does leave the program, they've actually rehearsed some of their positive coping skills with their actual Rudy Bear. So you might be wondering, how does a child react when he or she or they receive their bear? Well, I can tell you their eyes get big, 
and it's almost the first thing out of their mouth is, this looks just like the ones at the front of the building. They recognize how exact it is as a match to the big bears that have greeted them every time they come in to this building for their treatment.